Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're on page six. We're going to multiply rational expressions now. So there's a few steps I recommend you following when doing so. The first one is factor the numerator and the denominator. Then you can identify any non-permissible values, and then you can divide any common factors to create a simplified expression. Identifying the non-permissible values is, a, is something that we want to uh, start doing because we're going to need that later on when we start doing the equations in, in the last section. So it's just uh, something that good to get in the habit of now. It has no reflection on how we, we're going to uh, uh, simplify the expression, but it's something we're going to use a little later on. So that's why I recommend it for that now. So the first one there, what you want to do is you want to put the numerator and denominator together, essentially. So I'm going to steal that from my previous lesson there. So we got 3x squared multiplied by y cubed. So we just put it all together in the numerator, the denominator. Normally what I do is I order it, the, um, and this is just a common thing we do in math, we put the numeric coefficient first, and then we put the variables in alphabetical order. Okay? So that would be 6xy squared. So first step is um, factor, but we didn't need a factor. Um, identify the non principal values. You can do that now or later. This one here is pretty easy. I'll do it now. It's just simply x and y can't be zero. You guys know this, right? Uh, so I'll put that in now. Uh, X comma y uh, cannot equal zero. Uh, right. And then what we'll do is we'll simplify. So to simplify, we've got to go back to some of our exponent laws and rules. So the first thing to do is three divided by six would be simplified to one half. Uh, x squared divided by x is simply x. Take this, when you're dividing, you, oh, sure, this should be x cubed. My apologies, that's a typo uh, right here. I do apologize. You probably noticed that. You're saying that to yourself now, which is great. So x cubed divided by x would be just simply x squared. So that x in the denominator is gone. This becomes squared. And then y. Uh, cube divided by y squared is simply y because you subtract number three, subtract one is. Or sorry, it's just, uh, three subtract one. My apologies. So then it just becomes one. You don't need the one. You can show the one if you want. You can put it as a half. You can just add one or the eliminator and find. Those are all uh, okay ways to express the answer there. Okay. So there's your non-permissible values. We didn't have to factor, and then we divided. So we multiply them, uh, numerators and denominators, um, right? And then we uh, factor if possible. So we multiply. Um, I would multiply right away. It makes things complicated. So I wouldn't multiply the x plus 1 by the x plus 2. I just put it all in one numerator. Because when you factor the denominator here, you might have the ability to um, eliminate some more factors before you multiply. So a common mistake people make, they'll start multiplying these two um, trinomials. And they'll get a mess. They'll get x squared. That's not the idea here. It's not necessary. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor the numerator and denominator. The numerator is already factored. So what we do is, so we want to put this all over the numerator. So again, I just copied this from the previous example just to save me some time. Okay, so the numerator is coming together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to factor those denominators and make them equal at the same time. We can do it uh, one more time because difference. If this confuses you, just do a couple simple steps, right? So the first one there, you can simply see two multiplies, numbers multiplied together give us a positive 6, added together gives us negative 5, would be negative uh, 3 and negative 2. Okay? And then we'll continue with this denominator. So then we'll factor this part here, and remember, we'll put it all under one, uh, all as one denominator. So two numbers multiplied together to give me 4, added together to give me 5, you guys are right, it's x plus 1, and x plus 4. So there is your multiplied, factored, right? So we multiply, just put them together. Don't actually multiply them. Um, just leave them factored. Which I know that sounds strange, but the multiplying part is just literally putting in numerator and denominators together. That's because you're already simplifying. You're doing two things at once, essentially. All right? So let's now we're going to divide any... That's it. Now we're just doing what we did in six decimal. We're just going to divide any common factors. So I'm going to re-copy this. Um, and then the x plus 1 divides with the x plus 1 in the denominator. 
So that's eliminated. The x minus 2 is eliminated with the x minus 2 in the denominator, divided it equal 1, and it can't leave a blank, so it's 1, right? Because we divided it. Well, I did not know about, so I'll just have to swap those in. So I get rid of the x plus 1, divided by x plus 1, x minus 2, divided by x minus 2. So there's no factors left in the numerator, so we still have 1. It can't be 0, because it would be gone, right? And then our simplified expression is 1 over uh, x minus 3, x plus 2. Don't forget our um, values of our x values. There's going to be 4 this time, because it's all 4 in the denominator here, right? So we know x can't be equal to, uh, and I'll put them in order, um, negative 4, negative 1, uh, 2 and 3, right? So if your denominator is negative 4, that'll cause that whole denominator to be 0. If the x is negative 1, that means the whole denominator to be 0 and 2 and 3 as well. Okay? Oops, sorry. Restrictions that give you the values. value. So we'll learn a bit more of those in pre-cal 12 and what actually happens with those. So next, um, we're going to look at these ones here. And you look at them, you get overwhelmed by looking at them. Like, oh my God, there's so much here, but there really isn't. The first, don't multiply. Factor, and then when you're multiplying, you're just putting them over one numerator and one denominator. That's it. Okay? So, um, let's take a look at this one. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to steal uh, the previous one just so I can do this. Make it easier for me to rewrite all of that. All right, so first thing we have is x. Um, again, don't ignore all this. This is just what I uh, did from the previous example there. So x plus 16, 64, that is actually, you probably recognize that. That is x plus 8 multiplied by x plus 8. You would be correct. And you'll remember now what that is, a perfect square trinomial. You'd be right, because I know some of you are saying it at home. So I said that in class. And then just take the x plus 4 and put it together. It really squeezes together one. Uh, one quotient, right? That's all. We have one numerator and one denominator. Okay? And this one here is an interesting one, x squared minus 4x. Um, so we factor out an x first, and then we're left with x minus 4. And then the x plus 8 is left alone. Okay? And there's your factor part. So that's the first part. We factor and we multiply. We put them all over um, one quotient, right? One numerator and one denominator. Now what we do is we get rid of any common. So I'm going to recopy this. That's the easiest thing to do here. And then we have an x plus 8 here. It doesn't matter which one, obviously. You divide x plus 8. Divides by x plus 8. It's gone. x uh, minus 4 divides by x minus 4. That's gone. Easier with x uh, plus 8. Right? Okay. So again, you can get rid of those brackets if you want. That's normally what you'll see it look like. Um, and this x is not divided with that x, because both terms in the numerator would have to be divided by the x. So that would end up giving you 1 over x, or 1 over 8 plus x. We're going to explore that in pre 12, when we start doing some function work with that, and some equations. Um, you'll see some pretty neat things happening, but for now, all we're doing is simplifying. Don't forget your, oh, so we're up here, I shouldn't have the y there. A lot of you probably recognize that, my apologies. So I'm going to steal this. Let's put it in our uh, restrictions. So remember, our x can't be equal to, and it's not just the, the simplified, it's the original. So x can't be equal to negative um, 8, 0, and 2. Right? So it can't be negative 8 because to make that 0, it can't be 4 because that would be 0, it can't be 0 because that would be 0. Okay? Let's do the last one here. Um, page six and then we'll do dividing in the next video so um, again we're going to do some factoring this one here you look at it you shut down you say oh my god this is just too much but it's really just do each one at a time right so there's four i look at this as four trinomials right okay so you're going to end up with some terms in the way terms in the wrong here remember just use your rules of factoring if you can't factor this is um, it's going to be tough I'm not going to lie to you, this is going to be not an easy task. So, um, we have to do our best here. So, 2x minus x again, 
I'm not going to do the decomposition. It is decomposition. So the two factors you would get, you would get x plus 1. You can kind of do this intuitively anyway because, again, it's uh, pretty straightforward. You get x minus. The next one, um, again, I'm going to continue. Remember, it's the multiplying here. So I'm just going to put it all over one, um, make it all as one fraction, I guess, or one rational expression is a better term here. So you'll notice that there's a 4 that can be factored in out of all of them. So we take the 4 out. And that's going to leave us with um, x. Second, I grab my spawn x squared plus 7x plus 12. Which would be a lot easier to factor than the next step, right? So I factored a 4 out of this trinomial here in the second rational expression. The denominator, that one's an easy one. That's just going to be x uh, plus 3, x minus 1. And then we have uh, 2x plus 1, x minus 7. Again, you might need to do this on like a piece of scrap paper or whatever is easier for you. I use, decomp oh, I use decomposition to factor this. Again, that's something we did in grade 10. We've done it before. So this 2x minus 13x plus 7 factors to 2x plus 1, x minus 7. Okay? So now I'm going to recopy this. Again, if you want, you could factor this now. Some people would say, oh, well, I don't want to rewrite all that. I don't blame you. So now I would factor this as well. Um, and you'd be right to say it would be x uh, plus 3x plus 4. Right? Two numbers multiplied together give us 12, added together to give us. Seven would be three and four, so x plus. So you can do that now, or you can do a whole line. In the interest of time, I've done this. So I recommend factoring these on a piece of uh, loose leaf, like on scrap paper, completely factoring them now, and then you just put them in here because if not, you're going to have a mess, right? It's going to be overwhelming. There's going to be too much there. So now let's get uh, divide any common factor. So the two x plus one. We have one enumerator, one denominator that they will divide. We have an x minus 1, which will divide with an x minus 1. We have an x plus 3, they will divide with an x plus 3, leaving you with, and that all simplifies simply down to x, bracket x plus 4, over x minus 7. You can lose the brackets on the 4 and the x minus 7 in the denominator. You can leave them, it doesn't make a difference. It's up to you. Okay. Don't forget about your um, restrictions, and I'll, I'll forget about these sometimes, and I do apologize. So I'll remember restrictions on the original, so it's going to be negative 3, it's going to be uh, positive 1, it's going to be negative 1 half. Let's get some space here. Um, and then positive 7. So those are your four values of x that will not satisfy this. Okay. There we go. All right. Uh, that'll be it for this video. That's page six. And the next video, we'll come back to dividing rational expressions. Okay. Which are basically done the same thing. You just got to do some reciprocal work. Okay. Well, it's not bad actually. The only thing that's difficult is uh, going back to factoring. The uh, rest is just a, um, a sequence of how you work through the questions. Um, you know, it's just a procedure you probably go through. So uh, don't get overwhelmed with that. Um, and we'll see you back in the uh, final section of multiplying uh, and dividing rational expressions. We'll do the division next on page 7. Thank you.